Hey guys, this is Al. Now, if you want to learn how to make money fast, online and offline, this is the video for you. All right, guys, let's get into it. This is where we're going to learn how to make money fast online and offline. All right, now, some of the stuff that I'm going to be sharing with you, you you kind of know some of it, and then some of the stuff that I'm going to be sharing is totally different of anything that you've thought of or heard about before. And I've been doing this for years, and I'm going to be leaving a lot of links in the description below this video so that you can get started making money right away. All right. One of the first things that people do when they're looking to make money is they say, well, I need a job. I need a job right now. And what happens is most people look for a job totally wrong. All right. And what I mean by that is you've got to start looking for a job not based on the company, not based on the job title, but based on your lifestyle goals. OK, so what happens here is one of the things that you think about is. Um, it's about the salary or is it about getting paid weekly or whatever it is that you're 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 looking for so here's an example all right so I'm on indeed.com indeed.com is one of the top job sites out there now um, most people will look for a job on indeed and they'd say uh, they put in a job title or they put in the company name and that's where they want to work and that's it then they end up miserable they hate the job they hate whatever Instead of focusing on their lifestyle goals, which is, in this case, we say weekly pay. And then we have jobs that come up that pay weekly or daily. OK, if you need a company car, put in company car, put the uh, quotation marks around it. And that's what it is. If you're looking for something with um, great health benefits, then put in great health benefits and put it in there. You understand? And then you search for it within your area. Now, for example, the company that we're using in this case, because Uber is kind of like known for hiring people kind of quickly, is Uber. And basically, um, you can get a job with them. Um, this could be a side hustle or something that you're interested in, in doing, or it can be a full time thing. It just depends on where you are in your life. But um, what happens here is that um, you can try Uber, you can try Lyft, but let's say that um, you tried with Uber and you tried with Lyft and they will not hire you simply because your car does not meet their criteria, meaning your car is older than the 10 years um, that um, they usually have as their limit as far as how old your car can be. All right. So in that case, I have another alternative for you that pays on a weekly basis. All right. Now, this site is Instacart. Now, Instacart really doesn't care how old your car is. What they're concerned about is making sure you have a clean driving record, uh, a, a clean criminal history, and um, you're able to shop for groceries and deliver groceries. That's basically it. OK, so uh, I'll let you know that um, basically if you have a smartphone, um, like with a lot of these companies, all these companies, uh, basically uh, you can start making money with Instacart. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to share with you is a way in which uh, I've made money for years. And it's something that is probably uh, the best or one of the best ways to make money. And it requires no vehicles at all. You can stay at home, chill, relax, and just make money. All right. This is the thing that you want to see. All right, guys. So this is what I've been using to make money for years. And it's basically an outsourcing system. And I'm not talking about outsourcing to India, Pakistan, or China, or uh, Russia. But I have outsourced to all of those of those countries before for other businesses. But this one is talking specifically about outsourcing locally. All right. 
Now, what that means is that you find someone in your local area who has a skill set that um, is in demand. Now, what happens here is that you're looking for somebody who has a skill set in the in demand, but it had it doesn't have a long lead time, meaning it's quick turnover between the person doing the work and them getting paid. Okay, because that's how you're going to make money as well. All right, now let me tell you a little story on how I got started um, doing local outsourcing. I was on Craigslist. And I wanted to find a way in which I could make money doing um, outsourcing, but I wanted to do it specifically in my local area. And I wanted to find um, workers or people who, that had certain skill sets, certain professionals that had certain skill sets that they got paid pretty quickly. And so I went on the Craigslist, I looked in the gig section, I noticed that a lot of people were asking for like um, fix it jobs, handyman jobs, painters, and so on and so forth. And they needed those people pretty quickly. So what I did was I actually contacted different painters on Craigslist looking for people in the business of services section and handyman services section and so on and so forth. And I asked them, I said, would you be interested in working with me if I would just send you customers? And um, I, I made um, and I, I made an offer to them and I told them basically I could do it for a certain percentage and depending on who I was dealing with and what I and what they did, I made it either a percentage or a fixed price, okay, for basically sending them the lead and arranging things. All right. Now, I had a certain skill set. My skill set, my superpower is I get clients, clients, okay? So what happens is I created ads for them. I put a telephone number in the ad that was um, my number. It was a secondary number I set up just for this project. And basically, all the calls that came in from those ads would come directly to me. Now, I specifically chose handyman services. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted a service that would cover basically all the bases as far as um, if you need a painter, a handyman can do that. If you need a plumber, a handyman can do that, too. If you if you needed whatever, uh, a handyman could do it. So that covered enough of the bases that I knew that I could list those services in an ad and get a lot of calls. And that's exactly what I did. And so we got a lot of calls in. And then it was about managing the calls and assigning them to the, the different people. So now I became a dispatcher. OK, so I went from marketing to dispatching. So I needed a software to do that. So what happened is I found a software that allowed me to do multiple texts to multiple people that synced with my smartphone and allowed me to, to text on my computer and I could see things as they were going on. And I also kept records of the jobs that came in, who it was assigned to, and I just used my regular computer and a notes feature so that I could keep track of that. You could also use an Excel spreadsheet if you're, you know, you want to do that as well. But typically any anything that basically records the dates and times um, and who you assigned it to and what the job was and what the address was and what the, the customer's name and information was. So the dispatching software I use is not really dispatching software, but it was uses a dispatching software and that software was called mighty text now uh all the information that i share in this video there's going to be links in the description below so don't worry about that all right so i use this mighty text software it allowed me to communicate with all of these different contractors all of these different handymen and i was able to make money from basically their effort my part was the first part of this outsourcing model, which is basically the ads um, and their, their problem solving ads, basically letting people know what we do. And then the second part was my part as well. Sometimes I would collect the money because the handyman or um, person did not have a way of collecting the payments digitally. 
okay? So I would send over an invoice, the customer would pay the invoice, and then I would then send that money, um, the portion that was the handyman's portion to them, or make a deposit or put it in their PayPal account or something like that. And then also you have to be able to do the data collection, which is basically answering the phone, getting the who, what, when, where, or why, how, whatever. And then once you're able to do that, then you're able to convey that information to your worker, um, and then your worker does the work, and then everyone's happy. All right, so that's basically the system. You don't need a car for this. All you need is a computer and some software. A lot of it is already on your computer. All right, so those are the fastest ways to make money. Um, and um, those are the quickest ways to do it online and offline um, from years of experience doing um, those things. All right, guys, if you are not already a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. If you would like more information on how to make money online, offline, and setting up automated tools to make money online and offline. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one.